top five characters in One Piece that deserve their own spin-off series. Coming in at number five is Nico Robin. This would cover her years on run from the government. This would be, be very interesting. It would also make watching the any lobby scene, but and you know, I want to live. It would make that so much more emotional, and you actually got to see what she went through after getting off of the Ohio. We've seen bits and pieces, like we saw everything with Baroque work. We saw a flashed out to that family that sold her out to the government. And we saw her hiding around the time Roger was executed. But I thought it could be very interesting. It would also be interesting to see if she ever had any type of connection or running with any member of Roger's crew. And just didn't know it. Like, you remember, Roger was smart, but he was, she was still a little girl. And she may not have realized Like She could have bumped into shape when she was young. And she may not remember it, for all we know. I thought that would be really interesting just to see that. There's a lot you could do with that. But yeah, a Robin fed off would be awesome. It would make any lobby even better. Just Robin, Robin, great character. But I will say the fed off would be incredibly fucking depressing to see our one of our characters, our girl Robin, one of the straw hats. And we love all the straw hats. And I'm gonna say that seeing Robin miserable like that would kill me. I I would probably cry each and every episode just from seeing Robin in so much pain and knowing. She has to go through it for so many years before she meets Luffy and the rest of the crew. But, let's go on to number four. Coming in at number four is Monkey D. Dragon. I know you may be saying he's a little low, but, you know, this is my opinion. I feel like once we start getting information on Dragon, maybe not now, but I would like a spinoff about Dragon's life. Maybe I will tell everything that led off his entire life in great detail. I mean, Dragon, I feel like no matter what we get on him in terms of a backstory, explaining his reasoning, how would you like to see him, like, lead mission, and how he started the army, how he found Koala, like, you know, how he got, how he met Luffy's mom, all that, some of it we'll see, like, I'm sure we'll see how, why he became a revolutionary, why he left whatever he was doing before, and maybe think before he became the revolutionary in detail, like, there is a theory that before being a revolutionary, he was an admiral. So who knows? Maybe he'll maybe we get some story that at a time as an admiral before everything went to shit. Just story of growing up with Garp. I thought there's a lot of interesting things you could do with that. But now I want to move on to number three. Coming in number three is of course a white beard spinoff. White beard is white beard. He's a badass, and it would be really epic to see the story of white beard, like completely. From the day he set sail to become a pirate, to the day he died, or to the, you know, the moment we first saw him introduced. That'd be really epic. It would be great to see them in a fight with Roger, which will actually tie in to number two, because you can already probably guess what it is at this point. But the point is, is that it would be really cool to see Whitebeard. Whitebeard is awesome. I would love to know about the formation of the Whitebeard Pirate. I've actually talked about this, I think on a live stream once before, but Marco, it's only like his 40s, when your pirates have been around a long ass time. Some of the yeah, members seem a little young, they must have joined when they were very young. I would love to see Whitebeard recruiting them. Then I'm sure when he was just starting out, being like, Hey, you wanna be my gun lad? I'm sure when he did that didn't work in the beginning. When he's a famous pirate big shot that rivaled Roger in one thing, he had to join a crew, you're going to be like, of course! Most likely, unless you're Luffy. But with Ro but with Whitebeard, it's like, when he was starting out, he was a nobody. So it must have been kind of weird when he went up to you. He was like, join my crew and become my child. But yeah, let's go on to number two. Coming in at number two is The Tale of Gold Roger. A Roger spinoff would be so epic. I love Roger. You love Roger. Who here doesn't want a Roger spinoff? I want a Roger spinoff. Just because it'd be so epic to see Roger's journey to become the Pirate King. Roger's journey. He battled with Garp. He battled with Whitebeard. And no matter what Oda gives us in terms of Roger, it's not gonna happen. We're not gonna get what we want. And that's gonna be disappointing. We maybe will get something, or we'll get snippets of it. There was no way for us to see Roger's full journey during the, you know, the, during the time of the One Piece story. Because Luffy's story to be, his journey to be Pirate King, it's taking forever. Now, it would be also really nice to see the New World and the Grand Line prior to it being really explored. Remember, Roger was the first person to make that voice. Before him, 
it wasn't charted, which is one of the reasons I have a problem with Nami's dream, but that's for another video. But yeah, uh, let's move on to number one, who I think some of you may be surprised about, some of you may not. It depends on whether, on how well you know me. Coming in number one, I want a spin-off for my man. The man that gave his life to protect his little brother. The second division commander of the White Beard Pirate and former and former captain of the Bay Pirate, eater of the flare flare fruit or Marimara no me, poor got the ace. It would get me so great. Ace is a fucking badass, he's ace. We all love ace. Ace is awesome and we wanted more of him. I I don't know if he had hockey. I well I do know. I'm positive he had hockey. People disagree. So how strong he was is so debatable. I feel like it would be really nice to get a cannon spin off and that is adventure so we could really play the engage how strong he was and really see more of him being when you ask people about Ace, everybody normally says the same thing. I love Ace, however, don't know what that however, I wish we had gotten more of him. I feel like he was a very wasted character in a way. Because he really he showed up with Epic and Alabasta, disappeared, then then he fights Blackbeard, then he gets captured. He, he's in captivity the whole arc, he gets freed, and he gets himself killed. I mean, it really, he, he, he doesn't really do much. So it would have been really cool to see more of him. And I feel like Oda's trying to make up for that with Stavo. But I want to see Ace. Because Ace is a character really epic. I'd like to see his journey from when he set sail and left Luffy that day to the day he met up with Luffy and all that stuff. And, and, or maybe even to the day he died. Either one. You can just skip over the thing we saw. Like, you don't need to show us Alabaster. You can just mention it. By the way, I met up with my little brother Luffy and Alabaster. I bought this guy Smoker. I was, I was, I was fun. We got him a week ago. I'm a second manager because I'm a second division commander of the White Deer Pirate. That bitch Smoker got nothing on me. But no, but I'm kidding. But, well, not really. A destroyed Smoker if he wanted to. But the point is that that would be really epic, that would be great. But please tell me your top 5 characters you would want to get a spin off in the comment section down below. And remember, above all of guys, have a great day, and remember to follow me on Twitter. I'm trying to get to 100 followers.